that I say, then what is enough? Because if you can't see me try, you can't see the tears that roll down my cheeks as I try my hardest to change the deepest inner parts of myself, hoping, praying that I'll figure depiction, depiction of what I'm supposed to be and what the person I'm supposed to be isn't even me. At age six, it was when I first realized I wasn't enough, when the bubbly bright children who I thought were the same as me turned out to be spiteful and indifferent. I was left alone in the dark and no one noticed it. I was age 10 when I would invite everyone to my birthday only for no one to show up. I was only 10 when I was eating lunch alone, getting mobbed for something I couldn't change. I was only 10 talking to my counselors and teachers about my classmates who made a game out of me. I was 10 years old when friendships with my teachers, security guards, high schoolers, and even lunch ladies came easier than friendship with my peers. I was 10 when my peers would purposely try to trip me. I was 10 when my teacher started reading the book Wonder so my peers could calm down all the bullying. I was 10 when I lost my the few friends I had made. I was only 10, but at age 10, there isn't much you can do. You can only hope and wait for something to happen. You can only think to yourself about what you could have possibly done wrong, but at age 10, the only thing you can do is change yourself. Maybe, just maybe, if you were different, you could be more happy, so you could you could be accepted, you could be enough. I'm older now and I've been through so much more than 10 year old me could have imagined, both good and bad. I've ended up with the same conclusion each time. I'm not good enough. Why am I not good enough? What can I do to be good enough? But what is the standard of being enough when, because the way I see it, nothing's ever enough. No matter what you do or say, no matter what, who you are or who you aren't, I assume that no one can fully fill the mold that society has so graciously bestowed upon us. And if no one's enough, is anyone ever truly happy? When enough is never enough, what is?